planned on doing a spring vlog a couple of days ago and of course when I planned on doing it that day it snowed <laughs> Colorado living bro gotta get used to it I heard that it can snow here until like May so we're just gonna gaslight ourselves into believing that it is spring already welcome we are doing a spring vlog to get in the spring spirit even though everything is still dead I'm planning on going to a coffee shop to finish my book anyways so i figured why not go to tathered books and get a drink there and then i can freaking shop too so it's fine you know um two birds one stone I've been listening to The Poppy War by R.F. Kwan, and I'm obsessed with it already. I'm almost done, but for some reason I'm like, let me get the physical copy. <laughs> so, depending on how much it costs, since I'm already listening to it, I don't technically need it, I purchase that. But we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna redo my nails. They are blue, but I washed my hair, so the dye turned it purple. All right. Here's the outfit. I just have a dress underneath and I put on this little white sweater. Um, I don't remember where I got it, but I got the dress from American Eagle. Um, sandals from TJ Maxx. So, yeah, this is the outfit. It was giving spring to me. I don't know if that's accurate, but it is what it is and this is the book I've been reading. It's called Remember Me Now by Faith Brooks and I didn't know how much I would relate to this book being mixed and having been in a PWI pretty much my whole life or homeschooled um, but it's kind of scary how much I related to this book so if you're a black or brown girl I'd highly recommend this book I recommend this book even if you're not but you probably won't relate to it as much but you can at least get a feel for what it feels like to be a black or brown girl in america so yeah but honestly what it says right here a love letter to black women it's little it's giving that like she was very accurate with that you yeah, see one thing about me is i will never pay for parking but when i find a free parking spot i will be anxious the entire time i'm away from my car thinking that maybe that parking spot wasn't actually free and i'm gonna show up and my car's gonna be gone because it's gonna be towed or something so immense anxiety <laughs> The anxiety can take a chill pill now. I was gone for like two hours, like an hour and a half of me just reading, and then the last 30 minutes I was just walking around. Um, so I finished Remember Me Now. So good. Highly recommend. I gave it five stars. Even if like self-help or slash memoir style genres aren't really your cup of tea, I highly recommend reading that book. It's very short, it's less than 200 pages. The cover's beautiful. I really, I want my own place just so I can get my own coffee table. Just so I can put that book on the coffee table. <laughs> Did not get Poppy War. It was a little too expensive for me at the moment. Hopefully I can get it later on in life though. And since I'm listening to it on Libby, there's truly no point in me. Uh, purchasing it right now so I did go to Pike's Peaks lemonade blood orange lemonade I got a lemonade mainly because it gave spring vibes to me for some reason <laughs> but also because Pike's Peak lemonade is actually really good so I enjoy getting a lemonade whenever I'm downtown so now we're going to go to Hobby Lobby 
and get some yarn for some crocheting. I <laughs> I bought some crochet supplies back in January. It is now mid-March and this weekend was the first weekend I finally like got the crap out and started trying to crochet. So it took like two months but we're here. We're finally doing the hobby that we were trying to do in January. Okay, I'm home now and I'm gonna show you some of the crochet stuff I got. Um, I originally wanted yarn that was bigger than this, but I just got very indecisive while I was in there and just settled with this for whatever reason. Um, so I got two of these and the crochet hook size I need for it. Um, I think I mainly got these because they were on sale. So over the weekend, it's currently Tuesday. So on Friday, I decided to start learning how to crochet and I finished my first project yesterday. It's this little baby beanie. Um, I ran out of yarn for this mustard color and just started using this other color I had. So I made this baby beanie. I'm not pregnant, okay? Slow your roll. I, it's not for me. I am a Thea now. My bestie had a baby in January and I've yet to see the little munchkin because she lives in Washington, but I made this for her. And also just as a test run, so if my bestie hates this, the fact that, you know, it's two colors because I ran out of yarn, then my little niece doesn't need to wear it, it's fine, you know? But I think this was a good um, first project. In the process of making a beanie for myself, now I'm going to actually put on the audiobook for Poppy War. I'm like 71% in, so I'm close to being done. And I think I'm gonna sit outside and crochet while I listen to it. I think that's the move. I think that's what we should do. today I we finished two books together <laughs> isn't that insane and one of them was the poppy war wow and they were both five stars I need to vlog more often because what the heck but yeah so I did my nails I'm redoing my thumb because I kind of messed it up when I was setting up my tripod so <laughs> the poppy war I gave that five stars as well it was insane, bro. I really do want the phys a physical copy of it. I'm glad I listened to it. I feel like it would have been a little too slow for me had I physically read it. Arif Kwan, she's just, she's just so intelligent that it's like scary. <laughs> and she just writes so well that it's like, I can only listen to it to really absorb it, but also I need to read it physically too. I need to listen to it and follow along with a physical copy for me to truly like even understand what's happening. So the fact that I only listened to it was kind of not the greatest, but I do think it was better than only physically reading it, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so if you can only choose one or the other, I would recommend listening to it because it's just so, it's just so dense and like just good I don't know how to I don't know how to explain it but if I had only physically read it I think um I think the beginning would have been a little too slow for me but since I listened to it five stars honestly like I definitely oh god ah. <laughs> I definitely thought in the beginning it was a little too slow and that I was gonna give it like maybe four stars but 
honestly, it really picked up after forty uh, percent in, maybe. Um, but yeah, so if I had li if I had physically read it, I probably wouldn't give it five stars just because of the pacing of it. But since I was listening to it. I just couldn't stop, bro. And I know for a fact, if I had physically read it, like the chapters are so long. Literally, I would start a chapter and it would say it would take literally 56 minutes to finish. <laughs> and I'd be like, are you kidding me? So I know the fact that the chapters are very long would have also made me not like it as much, which is annoying. But yeah, so I'm really glad that I listened to it. It was so, it's so good. I need Libby to give me the second one right now like right now like yesterday honestly we finished two books in this vlog i think now i'm just gonna watch one of us is lying i finally started the show because my mom got peacock <laughs> and so and i read the first book i never read one of us is next let me know your guys's thoughts on the books i read today if you've read them i would recommend both of them and all i have to say is gaslighting yourself into thinking it's spring like it worked it worked for me when i was outside i literally took off my sweater you know like i'm just in my dress now everything might still have been dead around me but the weather was springing so i'm just gonna end it here okay but i hope you guys enjoyed this vlog comment down below what else you'd like to see from me and if you made it to the end of this video comment a pink tulip flower that's what i want to see so if you made it to the end of this video, comment the pink tulip emoji. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like and subscribe. Follow me on my socials. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! Meet me on the street lights. Meet me where the lights fade out. Tell me what it feels like